even as India grappled with a shortage of oxygen and hospital beds due to rising cases of COVID-19 over the past few weeks, a blood crisis has been festering that has been left largely unmitigated. As per experts, India's already bleak blood reserves have reduced even further due to the lockdown, cancellation of blood drives, low donor turnout and social distancing. Several hospitals in many states are reportedly struggling to meet the daily requirements of blood. See, in the wake of the virus, it's a very debatable topic because people still have that fear psychosis in their mind to step out of their houses and, you know, reach a blood bank. As far as I'm updated, I think it's been quite some months where there haven't been some really very active blood donation camps or, you know, certain NGOs or somebody or some organizations have really come forward, you know, regarding uh, organizing a proper blood donation camp for a, you know, huge population. The demand, which is, which is existing, we are meeting that demand by the blood replacement. And if that blood replacement is not available in requirements, then we are using our reserve, blood reserve in the blood centers. So there is no crisis, but the blood, do, uh, blood storage is reduced. That is the point. Apart from plasma therapy for COVID patients, blood is essential in saving lives in emergency surgeries, postpartum hemorrhage cases, cancer patients and much more. As per the World Health Organization, a country needs blood units equal to 1% of its population. This figure translates roughly into 1.36 crore blood units for India, which is a figure the country could not achieve even before the pandemic. Actually, there is National Blood Transfusion Council by Government of India. This is the regulatory council. Likewise, in the state of Uttar Pradesh, State Blood Transfusion Council is there at state level. Okay, we do have one lakh registered donors. Okay, so in case of any emergency or any requirement, we have a big pool of the donors. So we get the donors. I and when required. I think ki if any crisis will come, already we are prepared to meet that crisis. And I think, uh, yes, with again the blood, if you talk about and the uh, blood products, I think all hospitals majorly they do have some banks. But yes, for how long the duration will be, that is something really, you know, a debatable one, or probably I'll say it's a more of a questionable topic to probably take it up. Packed red blood cells only have a shelf life of 42 days. What is complicating matters is India's high deferral periods for people who want to donate blood after getting vaccinated. As per National Blood Transfusion Council's orders, a person cannot donate blood for 28 days after getting their final jab. Fortunately, the council brought down the deferral even further down to 14 days in May 2021. With the government launching a massive exercise to vaccinate everybody over the age of 18, this is likely to widen the gap in India's blood requirement. If anybody, any youth is going to get the vaccination, he cannot donate for 14 days. He can donate the blood after 14 days of the after vaccination. So to avoid that referral period of 14 days, we prefer that they should give prior to vaccination. And Whereas before the vaccination, yes, you can, if you're healthy, you don't have any sim underlying symptoms, you can just monitor your blood pressure, I think, on a weekly basis or a fortnightly basis. And you can check if you're not having any kind of symptomology like blood sugar or diabetes or any kind of immunocompromised disorders which is running in the family history of you. You can definitely come up and, you know, with all necessary precautions, taking a negative RT-PCR, you can come, register yourself and, you know, donate your blood. India can adopt some measures like the one suggested in a report published in the Transfusion and Aphaeresis Journal. Tie-ups with NGOs, Military or paramilitary services can also be made to conduct small blood donation camps in safe zones. Collaborating with religious and charity foundations can also help in mobilizing large crowds for blood donations. 
you can definitely step out and uh, go out and you know give the blood because your blood for people it is that blood but if we all because we doctors we there are 10 other things we can which we can derive from blood because we call blood and its by products so yes a lot of it is very useful in you know various conditions and uh, plasma is like one of them another way to offset this potential disaster is to tweak the current vaccination policy vaccination centers can be doubled up with donation camps and a small nudge from the government can convert this into the country's largest blood donation exercise however this will require more resources and a coordinated effort from both the center and states to achieve what could potentially boost india's dwindling blood reserves in these tough times it is normal to weigh one's options between choosing to remain safe and venturing out for a national cause so if you are about to get your first vaccination done you should consider donating blood at your local collection center which could play an important part in averting the looming blood crisis